Hello there you and welcome to a Beast Core landing raiding party ladies and gentlemen Oh my the Empire are in for it today That's right the Beast Core ladies and gentlemen have landed on the Empire shores with the intent to raid Plunder and murder now the Empire realizing the severity of the situation have deployed an entire army against the Beast Corps here and oh my, is this going to be an absolutely bloody battle. Already look at this. The i is flowing freely from that front line as the Beastmen already approach 30,000 kills. Now the Empire here realize the desperateness of this situation. So they're going to be trying to hold all of the Beast Corps inside of this area. The Beastmen need to be contained. They can't be allowed to break out. However... The Beastmen are absolutely amazing at melee combat here. As you can already see, they're just chewing their way through these poor Empire troops who really only have numbers on their side for them today. So, wonder who's going to win this one. Are the Empire forces going to be able to contain this massive bestial army here? Or are the Beast Corps going to go on to raid the local village just over yonder over there? <laughs> So far, though, things are looking a little bit dicey for the Empire troops. Already, 105,000. Oh, my God, that's so many. 105,000. They've only managed to kill about 10,000 of the uh, Beastmen's army so far, who are just surging forward here. Beast Corps, Ungaros, uh, Doom Bulls, all on the front line here. Look at that. I love these Doom Bulls as well. Just throwing troops through the air here. The Empire desperately trying to form a defensive line here, but they're just getting chewed up left, right, and center. However, it does look like some of the Beastmen are pushing quite far forward in the center here. This could be dangerous for the Beastmen. If they push too far forward, they'll risk their line getting really thinned out. The Empire could then use that to break through the area and start encircling the Beastmen, in fact. I think that might be happening right now as we're looking at it. The Beastmen are getting really thin here. They haven't got many reinforcements actually coming in at all. And there it is. The Empire have just broken through the Beastmen defense there. And are now able to start encir encircling the Beastmen that are on the beach. However, the rest of the Beastmen are having huge success in still pushing forward, trying to break through the Empire lines. They're now at 237,000 kills. My God, so many thousands of Empire are dying every second. Let's have a look here. One Mississippi. Okay, so at least two to 3,000 died then. That's insane. Almost 3,000 a second are dying in melee combat. But it does look like we are getting thinned out areas here now. The Beastmen pushing too far forward without enough support here. That's happened all along this front line. However, they are not down and out for the count yet. They have got 22,000 units remaining. They have lost about half of the army, but so has the Empire here, frankly. Both teams now under half of the reserves remaining. Who's going to be able to do this? Is the Empire going to be able to contain them on the beach here? It looks like the Beastmen are looking to break out of this flank very, very soon. Look at there. There's hardly any troops in this little area now. But the Empire. And the Beastmen are just plowing them way through him. But the Empire do have the numbers in the center here. And they are using it to try and group up these... Uh, <laughs> God. Try and group it up these uh, Beastmen into smaller groups so they can just pick them off one by one. Like this here. What they need to do now, the Empire, is need to get all the troops to come around and start surrounding these guys so they've got nowhere to go. So there's no chance of them linking back up with other groups. And that does look like what the Empire is trying to do over here, at least. Let's get back over to their side, where it looks like... Oh, yes, they have. The Beastmen actually broke through on this flank. They're no longer penned in here towards the ocean and are free to start and flanking the Empire troops themselves. The Empire over this side, though, with all their forces still pushing forward onto the front line, are also trying to envelop and regain control of this flank over here. Yeah, look, at they've got loads of reinforcements now pushing round and down towards this flank where the Beastmen are breaking through. And they are breaking through with vigor over here. There's hardly any resistance. 
Let's go back over to this side, where it also looks like the Beastmen finally broke through on this side. Okay. This could be weird. We could end up in a situation here where the Beastmen start to pincer the Empire troops. And I just want to point this out. This landing area here, this was all... It was all land up to right about here. This is where they deployed. The actual ocean is like, yeah, over here. That's where... We've spilt a lot of blood there. Oh my god. And it's still going. It's still flowing here. 12,000 remaining here for the Beastmen. 170,000 here for the Empire. I could not call this either way. The Beastmen do have control of the far flanks, but the Empire have pierced through the center lines here and are now trying to envelop them. Look at that. So the Empire here gaining complete control of the beachhead and now getting their forces and wrapping them back round once again to attack the Beastmen in the rear. Quite an effective tactic, actually. All they need to do now is hold these Beastmen on this side. But yeah, they could actually end up with themselves in a pincer here because you look, all the units from the centre now are pushing it down and around to the sides here. Things are going to get dicey on our front lines. Yeah, look, the Beastmen lines over this side are really quite thin at the moment. The Empire really capitalising on that. We've still got a really large group of them over this side, though. And they are just slaughtering that Empire on the flank. The Empire now coming down to 125,000 remaining. The Beastmen, 6,000. It's, yeah, it's looking a bit grim for the Beastmen. Maybe the Empire just had enough forces here to just to be able to contain them. But my god, did they ever pay for it at the moment? Who knows? The Beastmen might actually still be able to break this. They still do have the upper hand on this side. And it's these bigger blobs of units like this that are going to be really tough for the Empire to get and take down. These smaller groups here that break off are the easier ones. But bit by bit, it is going to come down to a brutal last stand here for one team. Yeah, oh my god. They're actually capturing the flank the Empire are on this side. I'm actually kind of impressed with that. They've out lead the Beastmen and been able to re-secure the flank. But these Beastmen are not giving up yet. There is still slaughter to be had here on these fields. And that is exactly what they're doing. 85,000 remaining for the Empire now. The Beastmen having killed half a million. There was only like 50,000 of them. That's insane. Oh, yeah. I think the last couple over this side now then are going down. I think maybe one or two over here, maybe. Possibly somewhere. Yeah, I think that's all the Beastmen on this side, unfortunately, that are now down. So this is over here. Our last stand. The few 100 remaining. What we got over here? Got a couple of Doom Balls. We've got Beast Gores. Ungoro Herd. Luckily, the Empire deployed just enough troops here. Only just 78,000 troops remaining. Out of the 600,000 they deployed. Oh my god, but it was worth it, because them Beastmen would have gone on to absolutely annihilate every village in the local population here. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, good things must come to an end. And as always, I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all you channel members who helped keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out these amazing metal prints wall art. Wouldn't you love to have this hanging from your wall? With all that being said, as always, until next time. Peace.